This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome ye all to another Friday rambling of mine and this week's rambling is awesome because we begin with the fact that I have, for some strange reason, but that only the universe can tell me, is I've had four, over 400,000 views on my channel as of a couple of days ago, which is absolutely redonkulous people, quite frankly. <laughs> Who's clicking on me? For God's sake, you're all mental. I mean, I couldn't be more honoured and um, grateful for the fact that that many people have clicked on the videos. And I realise, of course, that some of those people have clicked on me by mistake and will never click on me again. <laughs> but 400,000 suggests to me that an awful lot of you are liking what I'm doing, which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, I'm... It was one of those, it's not like it's a milestone, it's not like it's like, I mean, but we're, I mean, it's a milestone if, if I was like celebrating every hundred thousand, but I just, there was something about seeing that figure appear and I was like, what? 400,000 clicks? What on earth, you know? I mean, it, as I say, and I've said it a million times when I do my sub videos and everything else, talking of which, this was almost... Well, I'll say what I was about to say before. You see, I'm already rambling, people. I've only just got going. But I say, yes, I've said it a million times. But, I mean, when I started the channel, I only hoped for, like, 10 or 20 people to go and come and join me in my conversations and see me what I'm doing in gaming and chat to me and all you fine folk are doing that now. And we were, we were nearly having a duo, a combo, if you like, of celebration because I, midway through the week, I thought, oh, way up. It may well be that we hit 800 subs this week, and we didn't quite make it. I think uh, at the time of recording this, we're on 792, which is incredible, but obviously I just do the landmarks, people, 100. Well, it's 100 at the minute, you know, if I start getting 1,000 a week, <laughs> I'll do it on 1,000, but uh, that's not going to happen anytime soon. I've got a really itchy nose all of a sudden. I'm sorry I keep rubbing it during the video. You know, get that out of the way now. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. That was very pleasant for everybody, wasn't it? Right, <laughs> should we carry on now? So I was, I, I, the minute I saw that figure, I was just like, I, that's this week's beginning of the video anyway, and or vlog. And I just, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's warming to the heart and the cockles, people, whatever uh, warming your cockles means, that's how I feel. <laughs> so, so thank you to everyone who has both subbed and clicked and keeps watching the the little channel that I created because it, it keeps me... I know there's, there's times when I go slightly quieter than normal and we've just had another couple of weeks of that. And we know... Well, not a couple of weeks, actually. To be fair, just a week. It might feel like longer, people. <laughs> but it has just been a, a sort of week and a little bit of me being a little bit quiet because the Xbox One X pitched up and I wanted to just throw myself it to be honest with you i was really really surprised as to how much i fell in love with xbox again with this console because i think i had such high hopes i remember specifically because i got both the xbox one and the ps4 at launch when they both came out and i remember specifically receiving my xbox one and feeling like yeah it you know i was happy with the way it looked and I was really excited about getting the extra power and, and, and all the games and all this stuff. And initially, for the main part, I was kind of happy. I mean, I played Rise and I thought it looked gorgeous. But then compared to what we've been playing, I suppose it would do. Because I don't PC game, so I had nothing to compare it to of that ilk. But I think it was clear to see anyway. And, and, and I'd already decided at that point that the PlayStation was where I was going to do most of my gaming anyway. Because we kind of knew at that point that the PlayStation was... A more superior console hardware wise and there was all sorts of problems when the xbox one came out however i got some joy out of it when it when it first came out but i i kind of slowly became my just my back back and pat machine because every time i tried a game on it i was just disappointed the screen tear and it wouldn't play at, you know at 1080p or even 900p i mean at games at 720p i mean i've had this chat with you all before so I'd kind of fell out of love with it a bit. I hadn't even touched it for ages. And I was uber excited about getting the Xbox One X because I, I really wanted to, to have... I've always loved having 
two platforms to play on and two sets of, of homemade products and, and exclusives and all that sort of stuff. So, and I'd held off playing Gears, I'd held off playing Halo, I'd held off playing all of these exclusives. Quantum Break I played a little bit of but was disappointed with it, so I held off with that. So there was all these things. I just had this pile-up of games. And as I knew the Xbox One was coming, X was coming, I, I stockpiled all these games. I kept buying uh, games at a tenner when I saw them or, or whatever. So I had all these games to play. And to be fair, the home-written ones, are the, the exclusives, if you like, they've been sort of patched already and they look amazing. And I just... It, a lot of the patches for them haven't released yet. Things like Fallout 4 and Skyrim and uh, Witcher and all that sort of stuff. They haven't released the enhanced patches yet. But I just... You can feel the power of this machine already without them. I mean, I put Skyrim in last night. I bought it secondhand on eBay uh, just the other day. It just arrived yesterday. And it already felt so smooth. It was panning so beautifully. It was playing so smoothly. It was. I mean, I didn't play it, to be fair, on the Xbox One. But on the X, it is so smooth. It is really nice, you know? And I think um, to, 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 if, if that's without the patch, then I'm really looking forward to seeing what it is with the patch. Fallout 4 was the same when I tried that out for a little while. Prey isn't getting a patch yet. And Prey's the game that I'm actually... I've, I've, now near, I've now reached the same point in both the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X because when the Xbox One X came out, I ended up buying like three games from a second hand, it was like a, uh, what's it called? It's one of these shops where you can just trade anything in. So they've just got all of this second hand stuff. And, um, and and one section of that is games. And when I went in, they had loads of, of, of second handy bits and stuff. And I nearly bought loads of stuff there. I was about to say I got it from there, but I didn't. And then I walked around the corner to another game shop, which is in Blackpool, is right next to a game store. So I went into game, had a look around, came out, went into the shop next door. I mean, opening a... <laughs> A game shop next door to a game shop. I mean, why would you? But it seems to do pretty well. And in there, I found... Uh, what did I get now? I got Prey, I got uh, Recall, and I got Fallout 4. That was the three games that I picked up for Bugger All, basically. So that was really... I mean, I think I got the three games for like 30 quid. I mean, that you know, that is not bad going, you know? And they were in great condition as well. I mean, they were they were second hand, but they were in perfect nick. I think one of them, the box was a little bit rough, and I was going to ask the guy if he had another one. I didn't even have to because he immediately stuck it in a really nice box anyway, and off he went. It used to be called Granger Games, but it's called something else now. So, and I noticed that on my bank statement, it actually said Granger Games on it. So obviously they've changed the front name of the shop, but Granger Games is still what it's 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 trading as behind the scenes. So. I've rambled on so much, I don't know where I am. But anyway, I'm, I'm just, I was, I was uber surprised as to just how much I fell in love with, with this, this Xbox One X and how much I've loved being on the Xbox sort of platform again. And in, I mean, there's still little things that bug me, like they're still trying to advertise to you too much on your home screen. Just, you know, get rid of it, guys. You know, you can have smaller adverts. You don't need the big, they've, 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 they've got it a lot better than it used to be, but Still, you know, I still want to be able to create my own area when I first come into that section. I mean, I understand why they do it, but PlayStation don't need to do it. You don't need to do it. If we want to buy something, guys, we'll go, we will go to your store and we'll have a look around. So keep your adverts and your <laughs> adverts and, and sales stuff and all that sort of, just keep it in the store. We don't need to see it on our home screens. Like, <laughs> get rid of it. So, well, or give us the option. If, if we do, stick an app that we can actually put on our home screens ourselves if we want to do that. But there's some nice stuff like the pins. I love pinning stuff to the screen. I wish the pins were were able to group them, though, so I could have a pin of my, my back and pats and then a pin of my new games. Can't do that as yet. You can filter them in the menu and all that sort of stuff, you know. But uh, anyway, this was not meant to be a, <laughs> a full video about the Xbox One X, but I have been... Really, really impressed with it. And to the point of, I can actually see myself splitting my game time more. Because I always anticipated just getting back into the exclusives on the Xbox One X. But now that I've played it, and I, ju I, just, I just love it. So I, I actually feel like I might well split my gaming across the two consoles and just see what takes my fancy at the time. And, and the cross-gen games I will play as well on the, on the Xbox One X at some level. 
So we'll see how we go. The really good ones, I'll play on both because it's an excuse to get trophies and Gs at the same time, I suppose. Well, not at the same time even, just, you know, praise an exception. I, I was already on with it and then, you know, Xbox One X came on. So there you are. I mean, the games I've played, we've got through Prey, Fallout 4, Gears 4, Halo 5, Fallout 3, Oblivion, Skyrim, Quantum Break. Now, I say played. <laughs> I haven't played them all through. I've just tried them. The gear, the one, the one that I have played to its to its climax. People, there's a word we don't use often enough. <laughs> the one I played to its climax was uh, Gears Four. I loved that. What a ride that was! It's been such a long time since I played a game that was just linear action fun. And to be fair, I mean, I there's, there was no way of matching Marcus Phoenix's sort of thing. You know, there, there never is with these things. You're never going to match the originals. That, when it comes to story and concept and stuff but they have matched it when it comes to action and a freshness and the characters are great and i i mean i loved it absolutely loved it i'm playing it again now all the way through with my friend john and i think we're about three quarters of the way through now so i'm playing it on hardcore this time with him because the first time i played it i played it on my own so i was reliant on the ai completely i played it on normal so you get extra Gs for doing it with uh, someone else in co-op and then extra Gs for doing it in hardcore anyway. So that's quite cool. And I'm loving playing it the second time as well. It's just great. It's just a visual masterpiece. <laughs> to be to be honest with you, I think it may well be one of the... Be it might be the best looking game I've seen, to be honest with you, on any console on the Xbox One X. I mean, it is stunning. Absolutely stunning 4K. Gorgeous bloody thing. But anyway... So there you are. So yeah, so I tried out Qu Quantum Break. Also looked good. It's not. It's not at the same sort of eye-catching level of of uh, of 1080p. I think it finds itself somewhere in the middle. But it still looks gorgeous and it plays smoothly. The screen tearing's all vanished. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that. But I just played the op opening segment. So there you are. So I've played through all. I've played through one of them and I've tried all the rest. Prey. I have got really far in and I'm loving playing that game. And, uh, e well, ever since I got the Xbox One X, I've stopped playing the PlayStation 1 and I've kept on with the Xbox One X one and I'm now kind of at a par as to where I was, quite deep into the game. That game has just surprised me so much as to how much joy I'm getting out of it <laughs> after playing the demo and then doing a vlog somewhere on here saying it was disappointing. I mean, it's just so addictive, people. So addictive. And we've got the... I've held off on The Witcher and Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age Inquisition probably won't ever see an enhancement. But, I mean, all of these games play better anyway because of the extra power. But I'm waiting out on The Witcher because The Witcher will get an enhancement. It's coming. It's already been... It's already been uh, agreed, confirmed, and all sorts. So, yeah, so we have... There was a massive pause there, wasn't there? I'm just looking at my notes, people. <laughs> In case I forget something, because I go off on a tangent sometimes. All the time. <laughs> Uh, what else? Okay, Rise of the Tomb Raider was the one big disappointment. Uh, I got all the way... Anyone who's played this game, I got all the way to the ice cave where there's a massive pirate ship hanging down the side of a big ice... wall, <laughs> shall we call it? And the minute I walked in that area, the screen started tearing all over the place. Just, poof, you know... Well, the top half just tearing all over the place. And I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> and what I discovered was that when I moved out of the area, it suddenly calmed down a little bit. And then you went out of that cave and it was just rife again. And I remember distinctly when I played this game on the Xbox One, when it first came out. Because if you remember, it came out what a year before it came out on the PS4 because they had this exclusivity thing. And it was exactly the same places that had this problem on the original version in 1080p. And for some reason, they've decided that they are going to upgrade the game to 4K without even fixing any of those problems. <laughs> it's like, why would you? I'd rather have played the game in 1080p without that problem. Like, why couldn't you have done that? <laughs> or something in between 1080p and 4K... Without the screen tearing, nobody wants to see horrible screen tearing in a game that gorgeous, or any game for that matter. But up until that point, it was absolutely gorgeous. And it was the same when I played it on the, the standard Xbox One. And it was so disappointing, and I was enjoying it so much again. But it honestly, it looks terrible. 
absolutely terrible. I can't begin to tell you how terrible it looks when it starts tearing all over the place like that. And I can't believe that as a company, you can sit down with your devs and say, yeah, that's fine. We'll just ship it out like that. Like, why? Why? It winds me right up. Unless there's a, an inherent issue where it, you have to recode the entire game to make it not do it. But I can't see how that would be the case. But anyway, I'm not going to turn this video into a massive negative thing. But it, it really was a massive disappointment. I was honestly hoping that all that had gone. But it is, as I say, the only game I have come across that has... It just looks horrible. Everything else looks great. Absolutely delighted with the Xbox One X. I'm so, so glad I got it on release day. So there you are. So the last thing I wanted to talk about, and I'm not going to go all the way through this subject. I just want to raise it with you because I haven't quite got to the, the master solution yet, as we should call it. Ever since we got to new gen, the one massive thing that's bugged me is headsets. Because if you remember on the 360... There was these awesome little wireless headsets that just hooked around your ear. You charged them up before you got on. They hooked around your ear and they, they lasted for ages. And that's all. That was it. There was no cables. There was nothing. It just popped on your ear like that. It was a little headset. All you needed. There was none of this plug it into your handset or plug it into the back of machines or any of that. If you wanted to chat to someone, you just had your little headpiece thing there. And it, it was tiny, you know, and it... Nothing like that has ever come our way for these new consoles. It's like they decided, for some bizarre reason, PlayStation even need a dongle for their own headset, which is just beyond me when the thing's already got Bluetooth in it. So you need to buy... Uh, what I've discovered in, in looking into this is you need to buy a dongle that will... A USB dongle, Bluetooth dongle, that will... I think it's USB 4... Wireless 4, I think it is. Wireless 4 micro USB adapter is the one I've ended up getting. But So you need a specific type of dongle that will then talk to any Bluetooth headset. But you need to make sure that you buy a dongle that is recognized by PlayStation 4 or Xbox One or Xbox One X, which should be the same. So I went digging around and I found a headset for £20 and I found uh, a dongle which was about the same price. And I thought, well, I don't want to spend 40 quid to, to see if it works at that point. So I looked around at the dongles and I found another smaller dongle which was only £8. I thought, right, fine, I'll try that out then. So the headset arrived about three or four days ago. The dongle only arrived today. And when I plugged it, when I plugged the dongle in, the PlayStation or the Xbox just don't, they don't recognize it. And the reason I purchased it from Amazon was because in the com, you know, in the comments and questions and stuff, there was somebody had said, does it work with PS4? There was a vague answer. Then someone said, can someone please say whether or not this definitely works PS4? And another one said, absolutely. I bought it last week and it's working perfectly. Well, I've plugged it into mine. It doesn't do anything. However, it does work on my laptop, so I know the laptop works. Uh, I know the dongle works because it works on the laptop. So it's nothing to do with the dongle. It's definitely to do with the fact that the consoles don't recognize them. And the dongle I bought was this one uh, from Amazon, which uh, DG4OS. And I just, I mean, I, unless there's some trick to getting it working that someone might know about that I don't. There was another one that was sort of longer. That's a tiny little thing that plugs in. You can barely just get your fingers onto it to get it back out again. There was another one that was longer and it had its own sync button on it and everything. And that was the £25, I think that one was. And that, I mean, that was a definite worked with PS4 and blah because there was definite answers in the, the questions. So I thought, well, for eight quid, I'll try that one. And if it doesn't work, I can always find another use for it. Now, the headset that I found, and I realize it's not the little thing that goes on the ear because uh, I already have, as it happens, a PlayStation, from the PlayStation 3, a standard Bluetooth headset that just hooks onto your ear. Like it, It's the same sort of headset you'd use for Bluetooth chatting and stuff in the car. But I've had it ever since the PS3, and it, I've never used it because obviously the PS3 was didn't do proper party chat when you were trying to, you know, anyway, long story. That's another story. So I ended up looking around on eBay and I found this, which is completely, it's, there's no cable and it's completely Bluetooth. And it's actually meant for, now it's got this lovely cushioned earpiece as well. So when you put it on, it's lovely and comfortable. It's lovely and light. It's got about 35 hours of 
game time uh, of chat time. Uh, sorry, thirteen hours worth of talk time and two hundred and twenty hours of standby. So if you don't put this, uh, it comes with a stand. You can pop it on its stand and it charges away in the background. So if you don't put it on its stand and just leave it lying around, you've got two hundred and twenty hours of of it just sat there, and you'll still be able to pick it up and use it according to the box. And it's the Yame. Yame wireless headset and it, it looks like its main purpose is for like call centers and that sort of stuff but so i don't know so please don't go out and buy this stuff because i don't know yet whether this is going to do exactly what i want it to do i need to get a dongle that will recognize it on the ps4 and the and the xbox one x and i was hoping that that little dongle would do it because it was only eight quid i thought well i might get two and then i can just look link it to either but it's just not happening it just doesn't do it with the pc uh, or the, the laptop, I plugged it in and I was like, it's not doing anything. Because it didn't do that thing where it pops up in Windows and says, installing driver, new device found. It didn't do anything like that. It only I only knew it was there because when I went into devices, it said device connected, not recognized, uh, error or something. So I rebooted the machine and then it was fine and it started working. So it definitely works on the laptop. I did try rebooting the PS4, but nothing. But if this works, it's so comfortable. Uh, so, because because it's designed for someone to sit all day taking phone calls and stuff like that, um, it's just dead dead comfy and really unobtrusive. No cable going to your controller. I mean, if you compare it to what we've been using, which is you know these things with bloody massive thick cables on them dangling down at your controller. I mean, this bloody this the Xbox one's got this massive bit on the end as well, which has to go on your controller. I mean, it, it. I get what they were trying to do, but for Christ's sake, we're supposed to be refining things as we move forward, not... I mean, for me, this gen, we've gone backwards in headsets, chat headsets, rather than forwards. And uh, I had that. That was the one that I had for the PS4. It was an Orb headset. It's done me really well, to be fair. It was nine quid, and it's lasted me four-odd years. And it's just now started going wobbly. The the phone's rubbed away and it, it the cables got loose because I, I sort of come and go as I use it, which is what instigated looking at these. So hopefully I will come back to you. I'll do a proper vlog on it and show you and, and, and confirm what my setup is and what kit I used in order to get this working if it does work. And it's really, really nice. It's got a really nice quality to it. It's got a lovely rubbery sort of feel down these bits. A lovely sort of leathery feel to the earpiece and yeah really really impressive there you are people that is my rambling for this week i hope you've enjoyed it you know what it wouldn't be a rambling without one of these now would it now do you know here's the thing right you'd be watching these on my channel and thinking that boy likes a drink doesn't he? <laughs> and now i haven't had a drink for two weeks people this is my first beer. Actually, it's my second. <laughs> I was trying to get that working with the uh, the Bluetooth malarkey, and I couldn't get it working. Anyway, cheers, everyone. Oh, that's lovely, that is. Well, I'm going to go and have maybe a couple more of those. And, oh, there was one other thing. And I forgot. I should, this was number two on my list, people. Number two on my list. <laughs> and I completely forgot about it. There will be some more videos coming. I apologise. I was going to apologise. I did start apologising at the beginning, I think. I was going to apologise for the fact that there's only been one video this week and it was a bit of Fallout 4, uh, Fallout 3 on the Xbox One X because it got a 10-bit colour palette upgrade along with Oblivion. And it's been a really popular video. People have obviously loved it. It's up to 100, 150, 160 views, something like that. It might be even higher than that now. So I am well aware of it. I made a second part. And you will hear me discussing the second part a little bit about the fact that I'm trying to render the videos in a slightly better quality. And I've talked about this before because the videos you're seeing, although they look great and they're fine, they're not really showing you the true depiction of what I'm seeing on the screen because the panning isn't quite as smooth because it's rendering the videos in 25 frames per second instead of what is actually happening. So I have been playing around with all of the, the settings in the software that I use. I think I've found a way of doing it, but it's just me understanding how I balance stuff so that when I change the render quality to 40 or 50 frames per second, what the keyframes then have to be and and all the little, you know, what the, the bit rates need to be, all of this sort of stuff. And I, I nearly had a video posted up today, but I wasn't happy with the quality of it. Much as though the panning was better, it seemed to be pixelating quite a lot. 
So, I mean, I'll go back to the standard way of doing it. They, they look great anyway, but I just, I'd love to give you a slightly increased frame rate of the things that I'm showing you because most things are 30 and I'm sort of doing a standard 25 at the minute. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out and we'll just keep going the way we were going because everyone doesn't seem that fussed with it anyway. But I would have liked to have given you something that kind of depicts what it is that I'm seeing. But anyway, I have a Fallout 3 video to come which is already recorded and as I say it'll just need re it just needs re-rendered and I'll, I'll post it up. If I don't get it up tonight it'll be up over the weekend and I will attempt to do some more recording this weekend. I know there's people waiting for me to do more Dragon's Dogma and do the, the, the big dragon fight, uh, well two dragon fights, obviously there's one wandering around somewhere and there's the big dragon fight of the boss and I will get back to that. It's just that the Xbox One X has kind of, you know, just fell in love with it a little bit and I wanted to spend some time with it which is kind of still where my heart is. And I will do these videos for you. It's just there's no point in me doing them for the sake of doing them. I think it is noticed if I just, if I try and overdo something. I think you can hear the fun not quite in my voice. So I don't I don't want to put videos up of me, you know, forcing myself to play something. It's got to be something that I'm enjoying. So they will come, people. There'll be plenty of more footage. I'm going to hope to get quite a lot up this week because of. Uh, you know not doing an awful lot last week and if that's for i will do a couple of oblivions because they've been 10 bitted as well so there'll be them coming and um the fallout i've already recorded if fallout if the second part of fallout is popular then i'll do some more of that and i'm hoping that i can still get a bit of pillars and a bit of dragon's dogma in once you know once i get my my mindset back into enjoying those it has as always been an honor and a privilege serving for you in this vlog everybody and i shall see you all next time take it easy folks Bye.